Hello gorgeous, welcome back to Exquisite Glow. So today I am going to be showing you these nails that I have rocking right here. What I do like to do is I do like to go get my nails done recently. Um, I've been having a nail biting problem so I decided that I would go get my nails done and make myself not bite my nails anymore. So what I do is I like to go to the nail shop, have them fix them up, and I like them to apply the coat of polish that I want to use. But I come home and I decorate them myself only because I'm very anal about decoration and I want things to be perfect and to my taste. So I just decide to do it myself. Plus I save myself a ton of money by doing it myself. Plus I have the tools. So I thought that today I would show you guys how to recreate these uh, designs that I am wearing on my nails and just kind of show you what kind of products I like to use. So if you're interested in seeing how to get nails like these ones, then keep on watching. So start off by applying two coats of nail polish of your choice. I'm going to be using Essie's Miss Fancy Pants. This color is such a beautiful gray toned purple that looks great for the everyday, perfect for the office and also for a night out. Now for my design, I'm going to turn to my image plate from my Shani Cosmetics Stamping Nail Art Kit. I'm going to use this zebra print and in order to apply that, I'm going to need a stamping tool and also a scraper to scrape off any excess nail polish on the plate. I'm also going to need some nail polish remover or acetone. I'm just going to dip a cotton in here and use it to clean off the plate or any mistakes that I make. You'll also need some foil tape for designs and a cutting tool. You're going to need a white polish. I'm going to use a China Glaze nail polish and this is the color white on white number 023. I'm also going to use some Shani Cosmetics nail art nail polishes for any detail work that needs to be done. For my glitter, I'm going to use this red carpet manicure gel polish in the shade Put Some Bling on it. It provides such a beautiful sparkle and to top everything off and provide a shiny top coat, I'm going to use this gel polish by Red Carpet Manicure and it is the Brilliance Top Coat. To clean off the residue left behind by the gel polish, I'm going to use this Red Carpet Manicure Purify Liquid. I'll be using the liquid with this Red Carpet Manicure Nail Wipes. These nail wipes are lint free so they allow for you to cleanse the nail of any residues left behind and leave a brilliant shine. And because you are using gel polishes, of course you're going to need an LED light. Taking my image plate and my white polish, I'm going to go ahead and run that polish over the design of my choice. Once the polish is set on the plate, I'm going to take the scraper and I'm going to scrape any excess nail polish off the plate, leaving behind the design. Taking the rubber stamp, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the design. The design will be on my stamp and then it'll be ready for me to go ahead and place onto my nail. What you want to do is you want to take the stamp and lightly kind of maneuver it over the nail and around so that you do get the whole nail. Anything that doesn't stick to the nail is fine because anything left behind on the rubber stamp you can place on your nail still. If there is a large chunk of the design missing, what you can do is just go ahead and place some more polish on the portion of the design that you're missing. Go ahead and scrape off that excess nail polish. Pick it up with the rubber stamp and all you do is apply it to the areas that you're missing. As you can see here, I picked up only part of the design because I've only applied the polish on part of it. And I'm going to go ahead and put that, find it where it should go properly and just stamp it right on. And as you can see, I now have a completed nail. Because I want the white to stand out a tad more, I'm going to use this Shani Cosmetics Nail Art Polish. And I'm just going to go over the lines that I just stamped with my stamping tool. This is just going to bring out the design a tad more, make it a little bit more 3D as well. 
Also to add a tad more dimension and make it look more zebra print, I am going to add a few black lines just to kind of outline the white. Once that's done, it makes it look so, so much better as you can see here in the nail. I'm also going to use this nail art foil tape. This nail art foil tape is going to allow me to create a few designs and bring in a little bit more platinum on my nails since I am going to be using a silver glitter polish. Taking those little pieces that I cut, I'm just going to go ahead and start placing them on my nails and replicating the designs that I did on my other hand. As you can see here, I'm just going to place it on the edge of my nail. I'm going to put three of these here. And then once I have those in place, I'm going to go back and cut off any excess of foil that's hanging on the sides by my cuticles and in front of my nails. All right, so once you have that all set, as you can see, the ring finger has only one strip cutting it in half. And that's because we're going to go back to our image plate and we're going to bring that zebra design back onto that nail. Again, just go ahead and apply your polish onto the plate. You're gonna scrape off any excess of polish as you can see there. We're gonna pick it up with the stamping tool and we're going to apply that polish onto half of the nail only. The bottom part under the foil tape. This is going to make it look super, super cool. I really liked how it turned out. And because I do want to bring in a little bit more white, I'm gonna go back in with that Shawnee Cosmetics Nail Art Nail Polish, and I'm just gonna go over the white. Once I've done that with the white, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the thumbnail, and I'm gonna go back in with the black just to give it some more dimension. I feel like this black that I added, I'm so happy I did it because I feel like it looks so, so good. It feels like it's professionally done, hand done, even though we cheated a little bit with that little stamping tool, but hey, who cares? As long as it looks great, it's all good. Now it's time to go in with the Red Carpet Manicure Gel Polish. This is going to add that beautiful sparkle to our zebra designs. I'm gonna go ahead and add it on the zebra designs only in that area. So on my thumb, of course, is gonna be the full on nail. I'm also going to use this polish on my middle finger because I feel like one finger should be all bling. But as you can see here, I'm only adding that bling only on the zebra portion. We don't wanna put it on the whole nail. Otherwise, it's gonna kinda of take away from that foil strip that we added, that little tape. And I feel like that makes that design so, so pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the sparkles on the middle finger nail because I feel like one is supposed to be super, super shiny like I said before. As you can see, I'm strategically kind of placing the sparkles just because there's big sparkles and small sparkles. I wanna kinda distribute it evenly throughout the whole nail so that's why that takes a little longer. After you've curated your sparkle polish under the LED light, you're gonna go back in with this Brilliance Top Coat. This is gonna seal everything in, and it's what's going to give your nails that gel polish manicure look. Um, as you can see, this pinky didn't get any design because I feel like the purple gray color deserves to be on its own as well because it's so, so beautiful. But as you can see, I'm applying a thin coat of this Brilliance Polish. Where you applied the foil tape, make sure that you coat those evenly and really, really well on the edges so that they do not lift. That is very, very important. Once you've applied your Brilliant Top Coat, go ahead and put your nails under the LED light once more. And then after that, we'll go in and we'll clean off any residue that's left behind. Now this is where the Purify and the Lint-Free Nail Wipes come into play. Once you've taken your nails out of the LED light, if you touch them, you can feel the sticky residue sitting on top of your gel polish. So what you do with this little liquid, you apply it onto the Lint-Free Towelette and then you just start rubbing off that little 
filmy feeling type of residue on top of your nails and it leaves your nails dry instantly and super super smooth and best of all your nails are going to be so so shiny that everybody is going to compliment on your nails have no doubt your nails are going to be the best looking nails at the party for sure look at that so so shiny oh my god i'm in love Something that I like to do is I like to go back in after I've done my nails and I like to add this Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil. I like to massage this oil into my cuticles, then I go and wash my hands. After I wash my hands, I love to go in with a hand cream. Right now, I'm obsessed with this Soap & Glory Hand Food Cream. This one is so, so hydrating and it smells like marshmallows, which is like the best part of putting it on. All right, so we've completed our tutorial. I do hope that you enjoyed this type of video where I share with you what kind of products that I use and how I like to decorate my nails on my own. Again, you can do your nails yourself. You don't have to go get your nails done at a shop to make them look this cute. You can save tons of money by doing it yourself. If you wanna see more videos like this, please make sure to give my video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share with your friends both on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to see nail shots of how I'm wearing my nails here and there or more product information that I like to use, visit me and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That both is at Exquisite Glow. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe before leaving. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite nail polish is. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye. Whoop.